Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Heidi and on this video I want to talk about the infamous, the famous and classic perfume now, Baccarat Rouge 540. I decided to pick this up because of I'm going to admit it because of the hype of how amazing this perfume is and oh my god, it's so elegant and everything. Now, I have to say it is elegant, it is really pretty, but let's go over just the details regarding the perfume. The bottle is really beautiful, is really elegant. Now, the one that I purchased, this is the 2.4 ounces of perfume and this size the 2.4 ounces currently retails for $300 now this perfume comes in two different sizes of bottles and the larger one which is 6.8 ounces currently retails for $575 this perfume has a shelf life in the box, it says the shelf life for it is 36 months, which is three years. I think that is pretty good um, for somebody like myself that has other perfumes and I rotate them and I wear different perfumes all depending on what type of mood I'm in. This smaller size for me, I think it's perfect. I think if somebody, if they absolutely love it and they want to make it their, you know, signature everyday type of scent, then of course the bigger size would be a better option. And also I think more affordable because when you think about it, you know, like just 2.4 ounces, which is less than half of the big bottle, you know, cost 300 as opposed to that big bottle the 6.8 ounces is like almost three times as big as this and it retails for $5.75 so when you do the math it ends up being cheaper buying the bigger bottle and the back it has like a little design which I think is really pretty as well and it has you know the initials like uh, printed here on the glass I don't know if my camera is going to pick that up, but it looks really pretty as well. Now, let me spray it on to uh, talk about how it smells. Now, I've worn this a couple of times, and this was a blind buy for me. I ordered it on a, from the Nordstrom's website. Well, my absolute first impression when I first sprayed it on myself was that this fragrance smells like money. I know it's pretty strange to say money like dollar bills, but I don't know if anybody out there, if I'm the only one, but when you get like fresh, brand new, never been touched by anybody else, like dollar bills from the bank, like it has a smell. It has a, kind of like a sweetness to it. It's not like regular paper smell. It has a different type of smell. And this has a little bit of that smell to it. And of course, I also smell florals. Without reading the description, I also smell this to have, it has like some, like a fruity element to it. At least on my skin, it has that. But yeah, it's sweet with the fruity scent that I smell. It gives it that little sweetness to it. It has florals. And like I said, it smells like money, like fresh, clean dollar bills as well. That's what made it interesting to me, like how they were able to put that in a bottle, like that smell of fresh, brand new, spank new dollar bills. I really like this and that's why I became surprisingly happy when I purchased this and how different and unique this perfume was. I can see, you know, like a beautiful woman, you know, that's rich 
and she just comes from old money and she's pretty and carefree and yeah this is what this perfume smells like regarding the projection on this perfume it does have projection it does project pretty well the interesting part about this perfume i have to say is that when i am applying it on it feels very light and airy and that I find myself that I have to be careful and not overspray because it does have a pretty strong projection. And if I overspray, it's just I'm going to fill up the whole room on this perfume. So that is kind of like a warning <laughs> for anybody out there is that you can easily go heavy on this because it's very deceiving it's a deceiving perfume because you think you're not applying too much because it's so light and airy and floral and feminine and so you apply and before you know it you know you are just projecting perfume all over the place that's something to be careful about it does have a nice good projection where it just leaves a trail of perfume when you walk by people and stuff so that is really nice now on my skin it lasted a good i would say eight hours and it lasted well more than eight hours but you know only like if i get really close and smell my skin for eight hours it gave a nice projection and it was just giving performance all over and everything so yeah i really like that the interesting thing about this perfume though that i find is that it smells different on different people you know i think it has something in it that you know with the chemistry with your skin and everything it just kind of makes the perfume unique to each person ended up really liking this i think it smells really sweet really elegant and feminine do i see myself repurchasing this in the future do i love it so much like my delina here i love this one like i'm always going to have this you know like it's a must now it has become a must in my perfume collection but this one if i finish this bottle i'm not gonna be in a hurry to repurchase it because i like it i like it a lot i think it's really a really pretty good perfume but i don't love it i don't love it as much as the delina this one i absolutely love but this one i can go you know some time without it and i'm not gonna miss it i like it it's a nice perfume i am happy to have it in my perfume collection but it's not a must have for me and it's not something i would have to run to the store to repurchase when this finishes because there's so many other perfumes out there that i want to try out and uh, yeah but this was a really pretty perfume and I highly recommend trying this on the skin and yeah because like I said it smells different on each person so overall I think it's a really unique perfume really elegant pretty and sophisticated classy perfume and I don't think anybody can go wrong with this Thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. See you on my next video. Bye.